Hi guys, so I'm gonna read chapter three um, from my book. I've read chapter a snippet of chapter two, chapter one, and the prologue, so I'm just gonna go through each chapter and read a little snippet that I think will um, get you guys interested in reading my book. Um, it's Spiritual Nomad, A Journey Within and Abroad. Um, it's available on Amazon and my website. My book should be coming in Tuesday, I believe, for the ones on my website. So if you want an autographed copy, um, you can put in your order. It just might be, <clears throat> it just might be a little delayed um, for when I ship out, uh, but I should be getting them soon. So hopefully it won't be much longer. But again, so you can see, um, you can see I do the chapter title and then I have like a quote. Um, that kind of goes with the theme of the chapter. So, um, so I'll start with the chapter. So it's chapter three, my home away from home. So the quote goes, trust me, it's paradise. This is where the hungry come to feed. For mine is a generation that circles the globe and searches for something we haven't tried before. So never refuse an invitation, never resist the unfamiliar, never fail to be polite, and never outstay the welcome. Just keep your mind open and suck in the experience. And if it hurts, you know, it was probably worth it. The Beach by Alex Garland. That's probably one of my favorite books. Um, that book is like my Bible. The movie was amazing. Um, the book was actually a lot better. Um... But, um, so you'll see why in this chapter, why that quote, why I chose that quote. Um, all right, so I'm going to start here. So, we overheard the table next to us talking about canyoning. It's hiking through a canyon that has natural water slides and cliffs to jump from. Mike and I thought, eh, why not? Perhaps we were ballsy and maybe a little too cocky, too. So we chose the most hardcore one, which was seven hours long in one of their biggest canyons. We met at the Alpine, Alpine Raft headquarters, which was right near our dorm room building. We picked our wetsuits and helmets. Each helmet had nicknames painted on the front so the guides can call you by your nickname. It was easier remembering everyone's name. I closed my eyes and dropped my hand into the bucket filled with helmets and grabbed one that said in big fat letters, twat. Mike died of laughter. I said, there's no fucking way I'm being called twat all day. I picked another one that said amore. Much better. The guides gave us a pre-canning beer to start off the mood right. We got on the bus to head to the hike in the guides were on the bus with us hyping up the group which only made us which only made it more exciting 20 minutes later we all were in our wetsuits and had to hike into the canyon it was quite a hike which i didn't expect hiking in a tight wetsuit in hot weather was like being wrapped in plastic wrap i wanted to get to the canyon already eventually we got there and the guides sat us sat the group of us in a circle to tell us the rules number one Always listen to your guide. Number two, have fun. Number three, look out for each other. Number four, always listen to your guide. We couldn't bitch out. We couldn't bitch out deeper inside the canyon because the only way out was by helicopter. And that's only if we broke a leg or something worse. I was growing a little apprehensive and as I had zero clue what this involved, what was, what this involved. Finn was one of the guides he had salt and pepper colored hair with a gnarly goatee. Introduced himself, he said, I'm the crazy Kiwi from New Zealand. With him, I knew we were in for a wild ride. We met plenty of Kiwis at the hostel and they were all nuts in the best kind of way. Adrenaline junkies, mostly. They were about, there were about 10 to 15 of us and I was the only girl in the group. Finn told us about a recent story where a group died in the canyon due to a flash flood. And then said, all right, let's go. My heart was pounding out of my chest with a mixture of adrenaline and nerves. A part of me wanted to leave, but I felt like I had no choice but to follow everyone. 
So that's chapter three. It goes deeper. Um, you'll have to see to find out. Canyoning was crazy, um, but I still to this day um, don't. I don't think I would ever do that again. But um, you'll have to find out why. Um, but tune in for the next chapter. I think I have about, yes, 12, 12 chapters. So I'm going to do a little snippet of each one. So enjoy. And if you have my book, please let me know so I can share it, that you bought it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it, any other stories or um, comments you want to know about when it comes to my book. Um, let me know. I'm actually for the and for the second one, I am I have contacted my editor yesterday, so I'm setting the date for when I have to work with her, which will be in June. So um, soon enough that book is gonna come out. so I'm excited for that one. So enjoy.